What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix high temperature issues with your SSD and overheating NVMe drives. Now I've got a system here that has an issue with an NVMe drive. It's overheating and it went over 100 plus Celsius, which is really, really hot for an NVMe drive and it will thermal throttle and it will basically damage that drive if you continue to use it at those sort of temperatures. So let's take a look at the sort of temperatures here under idle. I'm not going to be doing any sort of benchmark again until I fix and resolve this issue because I don't want to damage the drive. So if I come down here to the actual drives here, you can see when it's idle, it's 84 Celsius, which is pretty toasty even under idle. So I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot this issue and how to fix it. Now, this is an NVMe drive. It's nothing to do with the drive itself. It's to do with the board and the machine, I think. So what I'm going to do is head over to the website and take a look at the drivers. Now, all the drivers, as far as I know, are installed on this system. But I want to see what sort of drivers are available on here and see if there's any fixes or anything like that. You can also check the BIOS to see if there's any BIOS updates available so we can flash the BIOS and that can sometimes fix issues that are known issues to hardware. So I've got my settings done here for what I need. I'm going to go down to drivers here and we're going to take a quick look through the driver section to see if there's any sort of uh, drivers that I can download that might have a fix or something like that. And this is the first thing you want to do to check. So I can see here there is a storage, rapid storage technology driver, and there's also a hot fix there. So I'm going to download all of these and get these installed on the system, especially that hot fix one, because it might be a known issue. I'm going to download all the chipset drivers as well. Now I know Microsoft and Windows 10 does a pretty good job at updating your drivers, but sometimes when you've got problems like this, it's always best to go to the manufacturer's website and download the drivers there, just in case there's any sort of fixes. I'll also check the BIOS updates to see if there's any BIOS updates if this doesn't fix the problem and that might fix and resolve the issue that I've got as well. So I'm just doing these uh, installation here. I'll probably need to restart the PC at some point. So I'll restart and I'll install some of the other drivers that I've got here. So let me quickly uh, check device manager here. So there is one driver here that I need to check for and I can see unknown device. So I will check and do a search for this and I'll download all the rest of the drivers and install them on the system. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Let me go ahead and get some other drivers here. There is some other drivers that I can download and install that are not going to affect the temperature of the drive. But I want to download these um, Intel rapid driver uh, uh, drivers and stuff like that and also the storage drivers. I'm going to download all these and install them. Let's go ahead and do this and get these installed on the system. So I'm going to apply this to the computer. Click next and let's go ahead and install. And then we'll give it a quick reboot and then reinstall the rest of the drivers that are available. So I'm going to restart here the system just because I know that it probably won't install all of these. You might get an error code coming up. So I'll download the rest of them and then quickly restart. So I'm going to quickly restart the system. I've downloaded all the files that I need. So let me just quickly restart here. There we go. And once we restart, I'm going to go back in here and install the rest of these drivers. These are the rapid storage drivers. And I've done the fix, so I'm going to install the fix as well. Do all of these and get these installed on the system as well. So let that install. And hopefully this will resolve the problem. If it doesn't, then I'll investigate further. But I'll give you some other tips that you can do to check uh, whether uh, your drive is failing, temperatures and other things like that a little bit later on in the video. So let me just do one more quick restart of the system and then we'll check those temperatures again to see whether this is fixed and resolved the issue on this system. So let me go ahead now and open up HW Info and then have a look at the sensors on this to see whether this has been resolved. Now these temperatures were getting really, really high. They were up to 100 plus Celsius, which is way too high for this particular hardware. 
and it was thermal throttling so you can see here we're going to go in here and check it out now and see whether we've got a, a fix and you can see right there those temperatures have dropped right down uh, to 46 celsius which is about normal for this particular device there's not much airflow in here and this is what i did previously i did run a crystal disc mark and what i did there I run this check on the system with crystal disc mark and it was going up to 110 uh, celsius which is way too hot which is uh, could damage the drive and things like that so let me just open up hw info again and we'll see what the temperature's like while this is uh, benchmarking this drive. And hopefully it's not going to go into the red and we've resolved the issue. So let's take a quick look here. So I'm going to come down to hard drives and temperatures here. And we can check out the temperature here. And you can see it's not even troubling that drive at all now. It's not going into the red. We've got a maximum of 53 Celsius, which is where it should be or thereabouts. So we're not having any sort of thermal issues. It's gone up to 55 Celsius there. And I can let that run through. And it's not going to go any higher than that. It did go instantly in the red. And as you see, it was in the red even on idle. So if you've got an issue like this, then always check the manufacturer's website for firmware updates and driver updates and things like that. So let's move on to some other things which I wanted to show you here. If you've got uh, temperature issues, you can also try these little heat sinks that you can purchase online. If you're having issues with the uh, temperatures, you can always put this on with a thermal pad. And it's also got a little bit of um, aluminium on top here, which is going to dissipate the heat, which can bring those temperatures down a little bit. So if it's one of those issues you're having, try to look for those online. Also check Crystal Disk Info, and this will give you info on the drive to see whether the drive is uh, failing or whether it's really hot and things like that you can check that here as well uh, also what you might want to do is check the manufacturer's software now you can see this software is by kingston this is a kingston drive so check the manufacturer and see if there is some software that you can check out to see whether there's any sort of firmware updates for that drive there is one here and firmware updates can actually fix problems like this it might be a known issue so always check for firmware updates on your drive. You can also check the health status here inside their own software. This is obviously a Kingston drive and it does have an health status page here, which you can actually check out as well. So to quickly recap, check for BIOS updates for your motherboard that can sometimes fix and resolve issues with hardware and drives. Also check for uh, firmware updates for the drive that you're using to see if that resolves the issue. You can also check the manufacturer's website of your board to see whether there's chipsets or storage device drivers and fixes available. And you can also check out uh, heat sinks for that drive as well to try and bring those temperatures down. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.